When in doubt, Tommy Doherty has turned again to youth, bringing in at number three, Arthur Alberston, and moving Houston to the centre of the defence in the absence of Martin Bakken, who failed the fitness test. It's a side whose average age is only just 24 years old. And in marked contrast, the Italian side from Juventus come here with no less than five members of their side over the age of 30. They're all full internationals in that lineup. Referee is a West German, Ferdinand Biversi. Manchester United attacking the goal to our right. That's Houston. Daly. Here's Gordon Hill for Manchester United. Daly. Benetti coming to cover, but uh, the pass not a good one. 15 minutes of the match gone. United haven't yet shown their real zip. And a bad performance on Saturday and seems to be suffering a little bit from it at the moment. Here's Furino. Here's Tardelli. Calzio coming in. And here is Calzio! Oh, and he hit the post with a gift that he was given for the nonsense between Houston and Greenoff. That could have been so costly and United was so lucky. Hill. Pearson! Surprise move that found Pearson, but Gordon Hill playing with the ball in front of Kukuredu suddenly put in the cross, and Pearson got away from his man. Boninsegna, he's in on his own. Nickel trying to get there. Stepnik has come out and just got the touch. Did well. Cup final, Stephanie faced with a man on his own. It was Cesario then, it was Boninsegna now, and Stephanie came back, went forward, came back, and was in the right place at the right time to touch it away for the corner. Playing as well as ever. Tardelli. Saved again by Stephanie. Tommy Doherty there. Well aware of the problems facing his team and is seeing it well illustrated. Benetti. Bonsegna. Calzio. Boninsegna. Houston between he and Benetti. Koppel. Followed over there by Tardelli. Hill. that he'd got half a break. The body check followed by the bow. And United back where they started. Well, we've seen it before and we'll see it again. Pearson running across the box. Here's Jerry Daly. Lou McCurry. United beginning to show rather more. It's significant that we've seen both Jerry Daly there, number four, and Lou Macari rather more in the last five minutes than in any of the previous minutes of the match. Nickel. Pushed by Marini. Everything left of the kicker except McElroy. Nickel. Lou Macari. Torino marking him. Oh, a curious pass out of defence. McElroy got away from Gentile. Nickel. That's swerving a lot. But wouldn't come down quickly enough.
two of the best shots so far with half an hour gone have come from Nickel. given against Houston seemed to me to have just got up better than Casio did Boninsenia and Greenoff down by Boninsenia Pearson Orbiston. This is a bit more promising. Now McElroy. Nickel making an extra man. United pushing just about everybody forward. Shirea's clearance. Houston. This is where they've got to be careful. Nickel. And they found this place again. Casio. Well nicked by McElroy. So much curl on the ball that it came back in. Crowd sensing that this is the moment to lift United. Daly. Nickel. Hell! Yes! Oh, what a cracking goal! First time, left peg, woof! No chance at all for Zop. Well, he looked the most likely, and so it has proved. Nickel's cross. It got a back flick. I think from a couple and the first time left foot and the first breach has been made 32 minutes gone Manchester United a goal ahead the scorer Gordon Hill with assists from Messrs Nickel and Koppel the whistle has gone totally drowned by the crowd And the Stratford end, enjoying the moment to celebrate. Bettiger, and again Bettiger on the left foot, good tackle by uh, by Brian Greenoff. Foul by Morini. And Pearson is getting the right preparation. Even if he's not enjoying it, he's getting the right preparation for Rome. No ceremony for Marini, and the tap means nothing at all. Greenoff, really a fine tackle that was on Bettiger. Pucaredo putting it out. Real connoisseurs match this is proving to be. And that includes the best part of 60,000 people here. Houston again in the six-yard box. Nine is Pearson. Comes to Daly, but there was a clear push by Pearson. seemed quite unnecessary those two McElroy and Gentile have been stud for stud all the time green off for United green off 
Pearson. Oh! Oh, come on, you've got to do something about that sort of tackle. Pearson goes for the through ball. Just look at the challenge from behind. The knee high and the studs coming down. The game has lost its rhythm. And United were at a stage when they were really finding theirs. Houston couldn't get there. Couple! Wanted the corner, but it was a fine effort by Steve Couple. Houston couldn't make the header, but it came out to Couple. Hit it well with his left. May well have been an offside decision against Pearson. Green off. Finding Pearson. Oh, that's awkward! And somehow kept out twice. Zop losing it. And Couple just unable to push it past him. The first rebound, I think, came back off the keeper. McElroy to take. And Cowzio just pulling it out of danger's way. United pressing for a second before the interval. Away by Shirea. Makari. Koppel. Houston. Corner. Couple marked by Tardelli. Betteker's come back to look for Houston. Kukuredu following Hill everywhere, 2 and 11. Chase across the box. Punch by Zoff. Boninsegna. Calcio to his right. Benetti to his left. Cut out by Daly. And the referee. Not adding much time on for injuries and stoppages. The players going off to a crescendo of booze. It's United leading by one goal to nothing. The goal scored by Gordon Hill after 32 minutes. A really cracking drive with his left. Manchester United find themselves in an identical position that Manchester City found themselves in, starting the second half of the home leg, just one goal to the good. United attacking the goal to our left. One goal wasn't enough for City. And I think if you took a consensus of opinion around the crowd, the fitting would be that it wouldn't be enough for United either. This is a good side, this Juventus team. And United need more goals. Here's Sammy McElroy. And the first foul of the half by Gentile. Gives the impression that uh, McElroy made more of that than there was. But McElroy again with the ball. And the referee called that one evens. United, the sixth English side that uh, Juventus have met in Europe. Here's Pearson. Nickel. Two men in the way of McElroy. Benetti. Better get of the previous five. Juventus lost to Liverpool, Wolves and Leeds, beat Manchester City and Derby County in the semi-final of the European Cup. Hill back to Mark Kukuredu, who gave him a tap on the left cheek. together Jerry Daly Oh Bamban Insegna withdrawn Here's Nickel Pearson and Marini He's got him running this time and he didn't quite get the height on the cross Shirea covering his centre half Bettiger, good challenge by Nickel. 
Hill. Took the radio played across Hill first. Daly. McElroy. Three in the middle for United. There's Gordon Hill. Oh, look at that, the daggers. Look what he did, Gav, I would have thought, or something like that. And the free kick has been given. Really, the expressions captured. You don't need telling that Cucuredi is an Italian, nor do you need telling that Gordon Hill comes from London. And this man is Boninsegna, who looks to be arguing the case a bit long. That was straight out of the old Covent Garden, that confrontation. Soft checking the cover to his right. Ten is Makari. Houston might have a dip. Well, it's not surprising that Houston's shot brought a few comments from Zoff. He was behind the wall and it went past that post with the goalkeeper's weight on the wrong foot. Got to watch things like this. Calcio and Alberston. And the youngster getting in a very important pass. They had two defenders square of each other and Calcio in the middle. Greenough. Grounded by Zoff. Benetti. Furino. Both former internationals in midfield for Italy. Tardelli. Bettega. Boninsegna. Good try. And Stepney. Just there would have killed the bounce, which he watched with great caution. Houston. It's a long time since a player has got to the byline and pulled it back from there. Ball. Calcio, one of the survivors of the European Cup final side. Hill. There's a gap there to his right. He didn't want to go that way. Nobody really moving for him. the running off the ball look what he's used to seeing from United that will be a corner no it's not it's a goal kick and the protest was because um, Calcio just nipped on the pitch for a swig of a bottle Houston Pearson looking to see where Marini was. He's got a free kick. Fifteen minutes left, and fifteen minutes in which United surely need this other goal. One goal is too flimsy a lead to take to Turin in a fortnight. Calcio, Gentile is up, and Benetti is up, and there are two other men coming behind, but Calcio giving it away. Now is the chance, surely, for United to spring back. McElroy screaming for it far side. And taking on Shirea. Just turned away. Go kick. 
They sprung a bit then, United. McElroy coming inside Shurea, but his shot going wide. Goalkeeper didn't touch it. Power by Bonin Senya. Back come United again. They've got 12 minutes left. And they're in need of some inspiration. And if anybody can give it to them, it's the man with the ball at the moment, Brian Greenoff. He set up the winner against Ajax in the previous round. Nickel. One goal could totally change the complexion of the tie. Here's Makari. Koppel. Trying to go the long way round. Good try. Strange punch. But the catch safe the second time round. I think that came at uh, Zoff so hard from Koppel. He just got his fist there and no more. but at least trying to go around the outside, which is what Tommy Doherty said they would have to do. Calzio. Better get. Curry looking up to see what's on. And Marini, a judge to have jumped on Pearson. moving away to the left, taking Marini with him. Hasn't really managed to pull him out of the middle. How can he get in? Beaten by Marini again. And the header must have hurt. It came right off where he got the cut previously. And the strike would end a little less than generous. Houston couldn't get there. Here's Boninsegna, Benetti, Forino, into the last minute. And Giovanni Trapattoni, the coach of Juventus, said he'd be quite happy to lose by the odd goal. And everybody from United I've spoken to said they needed more than one. Tardelli, Juventus just happy to push it around. It's Cucuredu, Boninsegna, Calcio, Gentile, Brian Greenhoff, McCreary making a run ahead of him, number 15, that's John Scherer out to him. Topple obstructed. And the referee, with one quick look at his watch, brings the match to an end and leaves Manchester United with just one goal in the bag to take to Turin in a fortnight's time. They were not at their best. They got just the one goal, a moment of inspiration by Hill from a good move involving Nickel and Koppel but they were not allowed to play in their usual style and will now have to give surely an inspired performance in the away leg.